In today's video, we're going to be rescuing stranded vehicles in BMG Drive. Anyways, join my Discord and enjoy the video. Alright, so here we are at the first mission of today. Uh, there's a vehicle stranded in the river down uh, behind the mountain. It's over here. Down in this canyon somewhere. We gotta go find them and then rescue them and bring them back to the repair shop. So, if you see here down at the bottom, we've got the steering wheel so you guys can see how I'm steering. We got throttle, brake, clutch. I won't be using clutch because I don't think I need to. This is a automatic transmission. We're going to be driving everything in the cockpit today. Force feedback's turned all the way up for realism. Uh, like, a, I gotta actually quite force the wheel to go. It's quite high force feedback. Got all our mirrors and everything, so without further ado, let's go rescue some cars. So we've arrived at where that stuck car is. If you see down there to my right, it's stuck in the river. We gotta get it out of the river and then take it back to the repair shop and then we'll successfully have completed this mission. Okay, let's try not to slide in the water ourselves. So we're just gonna back up here. Oh no. Okay, uh, cut that. Alright, so we're trying to back the trailer into the rescue point. This is not going to be easy using only the interior because the mirrors kind of suck. We're going to definitely be blocking traffic. We're going to try not to jackknife it. Uh, come on, we got to fit through this little tiny gap. Is our trailer... What is our trailer doing? Is it... Oh, it is completely jackknifed. But you can see where we got to go in there. So we got to pull out right here. Or we got to get into this little turnout spot. Then if we start backing it in, wrong way. <laughs> what have we done? Not the correct thing. This is gonna be so, so hard. I think uh, if we pull up right into this spot and then go straight back, it'll work better. Ooh, don't hit the street. God damn it, there goes our mirrors. <laughs> Okay, there we go. I've uh, reinstated my mirror there. We're gonna pretend like that didn't happen. Honestly, I think that's good enough. We can uh, put it into park right there, turn our engine off, and now we can drop down. Hello? We should, okay, there it is, right there. So we can drop down the trailer now. Uh, that's a very tight turn. I think what we need to do is we need to back the trailer somewhat into the water so that this little ramp is in the water and we can easily pull the car up. So we're going to turn our vehicle back on. And I'm thinking, uh, you can see my cursor here, we go up into this way and then back straight down into the water almost. Get into the cockpit. Kind of screwed up her mirror. Let's just fix that real quick. Did not mean to do that. Please just work. I do not want to back all the way back here again. Thank you. Yep, that's... Mm. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> uh, no, what are you doing? Yep, that works for me. That's a bit too far, so we're just going to pretend like we got out of the car and we're surveying it. We're gonna pull up a few inches here. This isn't cheating. This is not cheating. We're gonna see where this drops our ramp. That's not good enough, so we're just gonna leave the ramp down until it's in a good spot for us. Pull the truck forward a little bit. That is perfect. So now we can throw our truck into park. We can work on rescuing this stranded vehicle. So since we don't actually have winch tools or anything, we're gonna go into free cam and then we can use the node grabber tool. Uh, to kind of pull the vehicle. I don't know if this one's in park or not. It might be So anyways, we can just pull it out of the river. This is super realistic. Oh, don't let it slide back in. I Hope this trailer's big enough. I didn't really measure it. Oh my god Come on Oh No, 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 no <laughs> This trailer might not be big enough and that is a problem. We might have to get a fifth wheel so pretend like this didn't happen. As long as it kind of fits, it works. Okay. 
The nodes are stuck. The nodes are stuck. What is this? What is this? Let's just count that as a rescue. Can we okay, since that previous job was not good enough, I backed this entire freaking trailer in again. The things I do for you guys, I swear. We've even put the car back, and we're going to try and easily put it into the trailer again. So if we lift it up, completely rip the back bumper, pull it up, do not get the nodes stuck again. This time it's a bit easier to back it in. Okay, that's... <laughs> that's that's good enough for me, honestly, because I don't want to finick with this thing anymore. Let's not rip the door off. Let's rip the wheel off instead. Okay, you know what? As long as we node attach that, this should work. Uh, it, 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 it's good enough for me. It's good enough for you guys. Uh, we're gonna <laughs> node attach right... Oh! This is the most jank rescue job ever. We're gonna tie this down to that node. And then we're gonna tie this, tie this to that. And if you don't know how I'm doing this, I'm holding control. Then I grab a node like that. I drag it to another node and then I middle click and it will couple the nodes together. So now they're holding tight. So <laughs> after that, we can now drive back to the repair shop. Thank God I remembered to click record again. That would suck. So, uh, we're not gonna take the long route, we're just gonna get there, even if it matters, or even if it means using a bunch of dirt roads. We're gonna use the exit cam just to make sure the vehicle's working. That, that front tire's a bit scary, I won't lie. <laughs> imagine, imagine driving down the road and you see this car half hanging off a trailer. Definitely for the next rescues, we're gonna use a bigger... <laughs> A bigger trailer because this one is not sufficing but uh, as long as it doesn't fall off we're fine man all right so here we are at the repair shop if we uh, I don't remember what nodes we stuck together decouple those I think this node was coupled yes decouple that one decouple that one and now this car should be free so if we switch oh not the traffic so now if we switch to it yeah this is the car and we try to start it up and uh, we make sure everything's locked. We shouldn't be able to just drive it off the trailer. Uh, it's not really working. I don't know what's wrong with it. It took the trailer with it. Well, I guess now we found the node it was connected to. No, stop, stop, stop. Bad trailer. You know what? We're just blowing it up. There we go. Okay, uh, next rescue now. Okay, uh, two mod downloads later and a couple of Google searches because this trailer was not working. We've got a new gooseneck trailer that will hopefully allow us to put any car we want on because the next rescue, it's gonna be a bit of a bigger vehicle. We got a call that there was an ATV stranded and we need to go rescue it. So if we just go down this road, we'll soon get to it. We're gonna leave our bed down because it doesn't wanna connect up. So look at this trailer, this thing's huge. This is the 35 foot option. There's literally a 50 foot option. When we're starting to rescue more vehicles at once, which may be later in the video, uh, we're gonna definitely use that. I don't see any AI traffic. I think it got despawned. So let's just quickly make my PC cry. Give us some AI traffic. Cause when I download the mods, it kinda, I think resets the Lewis. Oh my fucking God, the force feedback's going crazy. I heard something break. All right, so here we are at the place of the next recovery. Ooh, how do we do this? Attach, detach, ramp. Uh, I don't know how this works. So we can flip over this stranded ATV and actually learn something setting up this recovery. There's an entire fucking mineshaft system in the Utah map in Demon G. I had no idea this existed. Like, I knew there was holes for a mineshaft, but I never knew this existed. Oh, it's not to go too crazy. So anyways, <laughs> we can recover the ATV and then we're going to stick it on the fifth wheel. Or I guess it was technically a gooseneck. Flip it over. It's actually missing a wheel because what I am guessing happened. I'm not guessing. I actually know what happened. Is they tried to jump this gap and they came short. We can fit the tire in the bed. Come on, get in there. Oh. Don't crush my cab, please. That would suck. Drop it in there. Uh, How do I manage to miss... Okay, now if we uh, node grab onto the ATV- Oh! <laughs> okay, there's more damage caused to it. Who cares? It's already beat up anyways. I wonder if this thing would drive. I doubt it would, so we're just gonna node grab, lift it up onto our gooseneck. Line it up. Come on. I know you wanna. I know you wanna. I know you wanna. I know you- 
it stopped! With much rage and finicking later, we got it. So now we can tie it down to our gooseneck. What's a good node we can attach this to? That one works. And then over here, opposite. That one works. And now this should not go anywhere. Secure that. Maybe secure one of these to that. Okay, this is snug as a bug, man. Snug as a fucking bug. What What is going 32 miles an hour? Nothing here is traveling at 30... AI is traveling at 32 hours, miles an hour, of course. Okay, now, can we raise our bed so the tire does not fall out, please? Thank you. So now... Fuck! Uh... I'm scared to look out. What in the fuck? I am so confused. Uh. Can we still drive? I mean, yeah, we're still driving. I mean, I wasn't even doing anything crazy. I was just driving around the highway. I didn't do anything insane. I think what. It's like pulling us. I think it's pulling my. I don't even care. Okay, so we're getting ready for the final recovery. I heard two cars crash near the Redwood Forest, and I made this truck look absolutely fabulous and make it perfect for a professional towing company. So without further ado, let's rescue some cars. So here we are at the point of crash. There's two crunched vehicles. One of them is down here in the ditch. How do you manage to flip over? Honestly, skill issue. This guy hit a tree. It looks like these two vehicles collided. Putting them on the flatbed is going to be a chore, and I am not going to enjoy this chore. As for you, my friend, you are going to need lifted- That's not gonna work. You're going to need lifted- <gasps> Uh-oh. This could end in explosive behavior of the vehicle. Oh no, it spontaneously combusted! Yes, we got it. The car is on the trailer. Now we can secure it down by its wheels. Nope, just kidding. We're gonna secure it down by its thingy. Not sure what that is actually called. Not sure I care. Okay, that's all straight. Please do not fall off. I will cry. I will cry right here, right now. Let's secure that down. Okay, we got two <laughs> perfect, <laughs> perfect vehicles. Okay, I'm gonna have to detach those nodes, I think. Okay, now we can drive our 10,000 pounds or so down a mountain and I kind of want to hit that guy for fun damn it I missed look at this amazingness we're just hauling down the highway at 60 miles an hour with two cars isn't this beautiful and then uh we pan forward and there's a fucking tomato there's a goddamn fruit salad we're just gonna cut through this gas station because we can this is actually where we need to be swing it wide please don't hit the gas pump we're so close. Yes, Pulasco Garage. We're here. We didn't hit anything. We di we didn't hit anything. Nothing at all. Nope. Nothing at all. Yay! Success. Okay, anyways, that's gonna end it all for today's video. If you enjoyed, make sure to tell me in the comments below. Maybe we can do a part two. Maybe we can do this in career mode. Let me know. For all. For, for now. Peace out.